seven seas and one Welcome back, everyone. Jeff Peckman is our special guest. His website is www.extracampaign.org. That's www.extracampaign.org. Um, before we went to the break, Jeff, I asked you what you believe the most compelling uh evidence is of the existence of UFOs and uh, extraterrestrials. And, of course, you, you mentioned uh, Stan Romanek, who we've had the pleasure of having on the show. And, and you know, there, there's Billy Meyer, and there's a lot of people who believe that Billy Meyer is, is a bit of a... Um, he, uh, he exaggerates when it comes to the, the UFO sightings that he's had. And yet you can't dispute the... The evidence uh, that uh, that has been collected over the years by government agencies, and why would somebody want to assassinate a guy if there's no truth to it? Yeah, I agree. You know, as soon as you get one really good uh, source of evidence, it's you can expect that it's going to get contaminated, or attempts will come in to discredit it by mixing it up with a lot of stuff, or making all kinds of claims, or you know, trying to just. Uh, destroy the person's character and all that. But yes, Billy Myers uh, is one of the great uh, stories Mm -hmm. of UFO contact, I believe, of extraterrestrial contact, as well as Stan Romanek. And there's others, Miriam Delicato. Oh, yeah. You know, there are people that are just, they're just coming out with this stuff. And more people, there are people who have been sharing it with me and asking me if I can help them get their story out. And these are stories that have never been heard by anybody else. So I think once this opens up, it's going to be huge. And, you know, I give these talks to civic clubs. And if you want to really get a sense for the pulse of the community, give a presentation to the civics clubs, the Rotarians, the Optimist clubs, the Kiwanis. I don't know if you have the same in Canada. Yes, we do, sure. They're international organizations. And they've been extremely receptive beyond just being polite and courteous, you know, because you're giving a talk to them at breakfast. But Mm -hmm. very often people, I think in every single case, one or more people would come up after their other members had left and would share some personal information with me that reinforced what I was saying about the need to get ready to meet and greet people from other planets. And sometimes they've shared stuff that, you know, came from some relative that they met that was in a top secret government project. And so they're right on it. And I believe that these civic organizations, because they don't have political or profit motives involved, they're going to be on the forefront of our interactions with extraterrestrial intelligent beings. And I've said, you know, don't be surprised if sometime soon there's an optimist intergalactic and the <laughs> Kiwanis intergalactic and a rotary intergalactic organization because, you know, they really represent, I think, the very high, uh, highest ideals of our human society. And, you know, they're not limited by other considerations, so they can just you know, represent the best of us and, and start the ball rolling, and they're, they're the leaders in the community. Jeff, I want to thank you so much for joining us uh, tonight and uh, for sharing your exciting news on the extra campaign ballot. Tell our listeners how they can find out more about you and what you're up to. Thank you very much for having me on again, Rob. Jeff, uh, let our listeners know how they can contact you. Uh, go to extracampaign.org. That's the website. And, um, well... Do you really need an email address? <laughs> no, 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 no. We'll okay. just go. We'll Extracampaign.org. That's the source. All right, Jeff. Thanks very much again, and we look forward to talking with you again in the future. Take care of yourself. All right. There'll be a lot of news. All right. That's uh, that's it for tonight, everyone. Jeff Peckman, www.extracampaign.org. I'd like to take this opportunity of thanking all the staff here at the Exxon Radio TV show, the Exxon Broadcast Network, Talk Star Radio Network, and all our affiliates around the world. And you, the Exo Nation, thank you for allowing us to be part of your day or night, no matter where you are on this great world of ours. I'll be back tomorrow night at 10 o'clock as once again we cross the time-space continuum to this place that I call the Exxon. So until then, keep your eyes to the sky and your heart to the light. Good night now. <laughs>